Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. Today we are working in Affinity Designer to create some vector brushes. Let's start with a rectangle. I'll set it to our export size later, which is 2500 by 100 pixels. And we want it to be a gradient and we want some high contrast colors so I go from green to purple and add the red in the center add some yellow and a tad of pink here we take this shape and export it go to export make sure it's a PNG and select the selection only export that save and then in the brushes I create a new texture image brush load my gradient in and we have our new brush let's add a line and assign the brush to it and we give it a little bit of a curve to see that the brush is actually following the curve so now we have a gray brush and it's due to the stroke color being set to black if I take that one off I see the true colors so the texture brushes actually need no stroke color otherwise it will tint the pattern and the colors of your brush so now I have a nice gradient that follows my pass. Question is, why wouldn't I just use a gradient brush? The normal gradient, if I assign it to the stroke, would go from green to purple. If I have a more complex shape, and let me just add a curve like this, assign our brush to it, the color goes along the brush so I have the green here goes to my red goes to the pink and the purple in the end if I use a normal gradient linear for example and have the same shape it would go from the green to the yellow to the red to the pink to the purple one thing I like to do with my brushes though is to change the size variance if I pull that all the way to 100 you can see that now the brush is reacting to the pressure the pressure for this one was set prior so if I go in you can see how it changes we can also take it to the next level this gradient starts and ends with the same color and I use it as a clip for a bit of shading and some pattern so now we have our old fashioned straw. If I create a brush from this new texture brush, here's our image. I have a nice straw pattern, but instead of wanting to stretch it along the length, we want to repeat it. We want the size to adjust to the pressure. I close this one and if I assign this to the shape, I get a nice pattern following and I can reset that. So there we go. So it will repeat the pattern. See, we have the lighter pink, the more saturated one. It repeats here and there. So I can make a really long pass with the pattern if I change the brush now to show you to stretch it will take that one image and stretch it along the whole length of the pass instead of repeating which is what I want. I hope you like this short video. There is more in the written tutorial. The link is in the description below. Please leave a like, subscribe to my channel and I will see you again soon.